Hey everyone, welcome back to Silver Run Forest for the next episode in our Let's Play series. So we're currently up at the old sawmill and our first job for today will be to just get a few more trees into the mill pond to top this up so we can keep productions going. We're then going to load up some of the prefabs we've got as we head back down to the main farm. And then our main job for today is going to be to buy Farmland 42 which is the grassland area. Uh, we'll then lease some equipment so we can do some hay baling uh, get some hay bales made and then we can try and get some sheep today so a couple of sheep pastures built and get our first sheep for our new farm so I said what we're going to do is just try and get as many trees as we can I'm just going to drag them straight over to the mill pond so I'm not going to mess around cutting them and moving them with something else we'll just get which ones we can with this drag them over to the mill pond and top it up so if we can get about six or seven trees in there that should keep us going for another month or two so let's get cracking. we'll cut this one last tree down and then I should say be enough to keep the old sawmill going for a bit uh, the next job then we'll load up all the prefab walls we've got currently that have spawned and then we'll take those down to the roller coaster and anything that the roller coaster won't take then we'll take to the silver and market to sell uh, that should give us a nice amount of money then to get the sheep pastures and also our first sheep and also be able to lease some of the equipment that tree's completely gone the wrong way around there we go alright so we'll leave this down here and we'll go and jump into the semi truck get that switched off and load down uh, just check so we've got 75,000 litres in there now that should be plenty for a couple of months so we shouldn't need to worry about that now until July, August time. Uh, one thing I have done as well, I've returned the truck we leased. Uh, somebody did recommend changing the truck down to the short uh, the short tandem uh, truck. Uh, the unfortunate thing obviously because we leased ours, I couldn't make any adjustments to it. So I've had to return that one and then release this one. Um, so I'll try this one, we've seen how well this one turns because having quite a few problems once you get any reasonable amount of weight on the back of this trailer or the other trailers I've tried that it just becomes impossible to actually steer this thing. Um, so hopefully this one will uh, be a little bit better. Try and fit through here. <laughs> Not the best way to go. But. And we'll drop that there. So yeah, we'll put all the prefabs we've got here, if we can fit them all on. And then we'll take these, so we'll take them to the roller coaster, sell as many there as we can so that's ready for when they need it. And then anything that that won't take, we'll take to the actual boat yard. Um, Silver Room Market, sorry. Boats don't need prefab walls. So let's get all these loaded up.
Okay, last pallet to go on. And then we'll get these down to the roller coaster. And get them sold. So I doubt the roller coaster will take all of them. So more than likely we're going to have to take the rest of the silver and mark it. So hopefully we can squeeze this one on the end. And it should just about strap down. So I think we had just about the right amount to fill this trailer. I don't think we could have fitted any more on if we'd have tried. So let's just drop the forklift truck off and I said we'll head down to the roller coaster and then get these sold. Okay, so we're down at the roller coaster and I say we'll sell what we can here and then we'll just take the rest over the road to the silver and market. So it looks like the roller coaster taking everything, so there's 4,000 litres left, so roller coaster must take close to 5,000, as we had nine on here. So we're up to 100,000 from that, and say so we'll sell these last four, well, four and eight litres in one of them. And there we go, there's another 17.951, 17.880. So about 35,000, so it takes up to 136,594. That should give us plenty of money then to get the two sheep pastures or a sheep pasture, depending which one we're going to go for. And also the ability to lease the equipment we're going to require for the hay making. So we'll just drop this over here. So the first thing we're going to do is purchase farmland 42 which is this area of grassland here it's 36,960 so we'll buy that and then what we're going to do we'll lease some equipment so we can cut this for hay and so we need to mow it, ted it, uh, windrow it and then bale it. Uh, we could use the John Deere batwing mower I don't know if that's ideally suited for hay making. Um, now we are going to lease the equipment we're going to use because we don't really want to buy that stuff just yet. So if we go to mowers, if I can find mowers, there we go. Uh, yeah, so we could use that at 6.2 meters. Uh, it will save us a little bit of money. If we just use that this time, then we can get something else. So mower, I think we'll just use what we've got for mowing. There's no point spending money on leasing something we don't need. Uh, tedders, it's not a massive field, so we probably could get away with something fairly small. That's 6.1, that's 9 meters, 16,500. That's not much more to lease. Uh, we'll go with this because it's just uh let's have a look how much is that to lease 841 and this one is now yeah, 561 it's only going to save us 300 do we really need a, we'll, we'll go with a small one because i really don't think we need a nine meter i think the six it take a little bit longer but it's not going to take too much longer uh we also need a windrower That one's 8.4, 8.5. We'll go with the um, this one, the SR314. So the Vermeer would be nice, but say 33,000, that's going to cost a little bit more. And it's exactly the same size. So we'll go with this one and we'll lease that. And then we need the baler. And I think for baler, we could actually... I uh, don't know why there's two different ones. Why is 619 and 100? Both by our ARM team. I have no idea what the difference is between. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why I've got two different ones in here. Now they're both the same price. I say they both look the same apart from the number. Yeah, I'm not sure why there's two. <laughs> 
Right, well, yeah, we'll lease this one as well. So that's going to be 612 to lease that. So what I'll do now, I'll go and grab the John Deere and the Batwing mower. And then we'll get Area 42 all mowed up. And then we'll just get it teddied, windrowed. And then bailed up. And then we can get some sheep as we'll have some hay to feed them with. Okay, we have the mower on, and I've also bought the tedder over, so as soon as we finish mowing, we can just hook that up and get this tedded as well. So we'll drop the tedder off first, because I don't want to be driving around with that on the front. Get the mower unlo uh, unfolded, I'd say unloaded then. And just load that down. And I say, well, uh, Get all this grass cut. Then we can get the sheep, get get the sheep fed so they can then start producing wool, which we will need for the pet accessories, so that requires wool. And also I think long planks. And then also we'll look to get a spinnery once we've started producing a decent amount of wool. We'll look to get a spinnery somewhere on the map so we can then start producing fabric, which is required by the the boat builders. A little bit later down the line so at least we're prepping towards getting the boat builders supplied with the products they require uh, as well as the pet accessories as well Okay, that's the grass all cut so next job just to get it teddied and so then we get it wind road and then bailed oh wrong one turn that back on so we can see what I've selected drop the mower off and we'll get the tedder on so we'll, we will buy our own grass equipment at the moment I just wanted to lease it because I want to keep a little bit of money so we've got enough to actually buy the sheep and also get the pasture and maybe do a little bit of landscaping if required as well so we'll get this all teddied up I say, and then we'll get it rowed up and bailed Okay, so tedding is almost done, just this last little bit to do. I'll still say I'm still amazed by how good the animation looks for actual tedding. It does look really, really good. Compared to what it used to look like, it is a vast improvement in FS22. And does look very, very nice. So we've got that tiny little bit left to do, and then we'll go and swap over for the windrower and get it all rowed up, and then we can just get it bailed. I'll return all the equipment that we've leased as well as we've finished with it. Because we're not going to be... Well, I don't plan on doing any hay again this year. Uh, the next time we do hay will probably be on a proper grass field that we put in ourselves. Yeah, we'll leave them over there because we can get that... Uh, after we finish bailing. Yeah, so I'll go and grab the windrower. I'll get all that windrowed up and then we can crack on with the bailing. Okay, windrowing's all done, so we've got the baler hooked up now. I've also bought a set of bale spikes. These ones from the CSZ pack. Just so we can then load up the bales when we're done onto our trailer, which I've bought over as well. So if we get the baler unfolded, I've set these to 240 centimetre bales, so the biggest bales we can do. And we'll get that switched on and load down. 
and we'll get all the hay bailed up. And then the next job will be to get the sheep pasture built. We'll also need to get, we don't need an animal transport trailer because there is no animal dealer on this map. So we'll have to buy the sheep direct to the pasture. Um, but we'll need to get a water tanker so we can actually give them some water. Well then we should have everything then so we can start the wool production. That's the baling all done. So we'll get that switched off and drop these off. So we've got 13 bales plus what's on the baler, so it should be 15. So 15 and another 893 litres, unfortunately, we'll have to leave inside the baler. I'll just drop this off here and then we'll get these bales loaded up. So 15 bales should keep us going for a while. So we may potentially need to do another cut of grass in the future uh, before the end of this year but I don't know how much we're going to use yet so I don't think the sheep consume a huge amount so this should potentially last us until next year um, we may be able to get another cut on I've still not decided yet what to do in terms of the other fields I may leave this area as grass until after we've harvested the other two fields and then possibly get another cut if we need it and then as I said in the previous one we'll probably plough this area into two separate fields and then maybe move the grass or plant grass into one of the fields over by the farm so they're right next to the sheep pastures and then you use the two fields here as arable For next year uh, which will probably plant up this um, coming autumn so we'll get these loaded up and then I say we'll get over to the farm we can get the sheep pasture built and buy some sheep Okay, last bale to go on and then we can uh, head back to the yard. Let's drop that one off and get those strapped down. I don't know if I'll fit the tractor and the mower on the back. <laughs> so try and take it all back in one go but it's not all going to fit on. So I'll have to take the mower back separately. The bailer we can leave there actually while I remember because I'll no doubt forget otherwise. We'll, uh, just return that so least items balers turn yeah so we'll get the mower back i'll get the lorry over there as well so we can get this sheep pasture built and then get our first sheep for the farm Okay, so I've got the Volvo back from on the old sawmill, so what I thought before we actually put the sheep pastures in, I just want to clear a few more of these trees from this area of the land, just to give us a bit more space and more options then for actually putting the sheep pasture in, so we've got a bit more space to play with. So we'll get those cut down, probably won't sell them or load them up just yet, I may just get them onto the smaller log trailers at some point. So if we set this to 6 metres, I'll try and 
pile them up somewhere to the side so they're not going to be in the way so it would just be a case of getting all these out of the way and then uh, going over and taking these stumps out I'll try and get them just so they're on the other side of the road and get a fairly neat stack that we can then come and pick up afterwards either maybe next time we'll get a container if there's enough there for a container load and um, get them sold that way but yeah there's quite a few more trees still to go down this way but I won't go all the way up or just clear where it's a usable area okay, so I've cut down a few more of the trees uh, piled them up this side of the road I think the slope on this is a little bit too much so probably won't use this area just yet. We may use it in the future for something else. Um, we can always just replant trees if need be. So probably going to keep the pastures down this end a little bit more. So if we go into build mode and go animals and sheep. So I'm going to use the defenseless husbandries from Cookie Cat, uh, which is on Mod Hub. So this is um, just modified versions of the base game pastures but with no fencing around and slightly increased actual field size and capacities so this will hold 50 sheep uh, ideally I want to try and get two of these in so you need to put one kind of that way around and then possibly one that way and um, we'll need to flatten the area where the pallets spawn and go in between or I could potentially put one I have two side by side. Ideally, I'd like one that's got a bigger area than this and a large capacity, but I can't find one uh, that doesn't have fences on. I think some of these are a little bit too big and obviously uh, very expensive as well. Far beyond our price range, some of these larger ones. That one wouldn't be too bad. It's 195. We could afford that currently but we wouldn't have any money then for sheep uh, that one's a lot more affordable but I'm, I'm not really fussed about having the building with the sheep I'd rather just have it as an open pasture so if we kind of get that one in there <laughs> then I mean, they get the bar of the sheep when I place that down. And if we get another one. There, I never noticed that before. I don't often play with the game sounds, but I never notice when you place the pastures down. You get the sound of the animal. That's uh, something I've never ever noticed when I've been playing the game before. So we'll uh, landscape this down. Uh, smooth it off so we can access this a little bit better this does give us a little bit more space up this end potentially because I still want to get some chickens somewhere once we've harvested the barley so we've actually got some feed so we can get some chickens in so we'll try and smooth this down as best as we can I'm not sure what texture we've got on there I think that's any more mud yep so we'll keep that as it is and uh, we'll put some meadow grass in this is where it gets expensive because meadow grass is not cheap <laughs> I'll just put a bit of meadow grass around uh, just trying to think whether I'd change the actual it might look a bit better if we grass texture down underneath this bit a little bit we won't do all of it because they just start to get a bit expensive so what I may, may need to do is go and grab a collectible just to uh, offset the cost of this 
once we start getting the meadow grass in, this is going to start getting very expensive to do. So don't come too close to the road. And then what we'll probably do is have a track that comes through and up there. So we can have a gate up there as well. And then bring a track around that way and join up there. So ideally we'll put all fences around this as well. So if we bring that down just a little bit more. Then we'll kind of say that's the kind of pasture area. So we'll go meadow grass, change that to circle. And I'll just paint all this in. Yeah, I, think I definitely may need to go and grab a collectible just to cover the cost of the decorative work. As I say, it's not beneficial to us. It's just a lot of money for uh, just some decorative grass. As I did mention, I probably will collect collectibles just to cover the cost of stuff like this because it, otherwise I'd just leave it as bare grass and not bother wasting the money doing it. Alright, so if we now go decoration and we want fences, I want the, put the gate in first so we know where we're coming to and we'll go with the white one. So if we bring that over this way we can have the gate in there and then we'll go with the standard fence try and bring that round kind of trying to follow that field a little bit it round the back of here and then we'll bring that round to there so this is where all your money ends up going fencing and meadow grass so if we can bring that up to there and then if we can bring that over slightly and then hopefully we can get another gate in. So we'll go for the white gate double. Terrain too steep. We can get it in there. Yeah. Might be a bit difficult to turn into there. It shouldn't be too bad hopefully. And we may not use this gate. It's just there in case we need it. So what we'll do then is just follow the fence again. Try and follow along that road as best as we can. <laughs> yeah, this is where we've got no money left at all now. <laughs> I don't know about one collectible. I think we may need to go and go grab a couple. Right, if we come across... Yeah, not enough money. Right. <laughs> Let's leave that there. So that's all our money gone on fencing and meadow grass pretty much. Let's get rid of that marker and that one. If we can. Where's this trigger? There, nope. there we go. Alright, so there's both pastures in anyway. So let's go and grab one of the collectibles so we can actually afford to get some sheep. I know where there is one just nearby. If you don't want to know where it is, look away now. A jog, not much of a warning there. <laughs> So I'm just going to join this last bit of fence up. So decoration, because we still need to actually buy the sheep and then get a water tanker as well. May just bring that down. I may get rid of that last little bit first. I'll keep that bit straight and then connect it up there. I don't like that. That's a little bit... Uh, 
Jen Kangle so and then what we'll probably do we'll continue that fence on round along the edge of the road when we've got a little bit more money so landscaping painting we'll go animal mud and then we'll bring a track down as best as we can down to here I always find the paint tools are not not particularly great. We'll probably just tidy that up a little bit. We've got a track that comes down to join up with a the pasture there. And then we'll put another one in and that comes off here and goes up to that gate there. Um, actually, we'll probably leave that because I don't, I'm not 100% sure which end. I'm sure the pallets spawn this end. We'll just join that up to the road. And actually, I may just tie that little bit up and do that. All right, so there's our two sheep pastures. So we've got 46,498 left. So we'll go and buy some sheep. So we can't get the animal transport trailer. Uh, we could use an animal transport trailer to switch the sheep. If I can find where the trigger is. Pretty sure it was this end. Was it this end? There we go. Uh, so we'll go with the land race of Benfheim and we'll get 25 if we can in each pasture. Um, that way we'll, we've got a decent amount to start with. So it's only 13,472, so we'll buy 25 for that one. And then we'll get 25 for the other pasture. That way then we've got room for reproduction in both of them. So that leaves us with 19,554. So all we need to do now is give them a bale of hay each and get some water. Take a couple of bales and give one bale in each feed trough. I may actually take two each to fill it. Give them one each to start with and that'll get them going. So we have got a little bit of space there between the shed and that the start of the pasture where we could potentially get the chicken coop. Well, at least we'll never be able to start wall production ready for when we need it a bit later down the line for the boat so we won't get the spinnery just yet we'll leave the wall to build up until we're actually producing enough to keep the spinnery running because uh, there's little point in buying the spinnery then if we haven't got enough wall to keep it in production so we'll go and grab a water tanker and we can get some water into the sheep and that's all the sheep sorted so we'll have space for 100 in total which should be more than enough I think for producing enough wool for the spinnery and also then giving us a little bit extra for the animal products which will be a production we won't buy probably a while yet so it's definitely one we'll wait so just check the used equipment because I haven't checked this for a while oh, nice massy 8s us spec 67,000. don't quite think we need another tractor at the moment so we go animals and we'll get the abbey and we'll actually buy this because we're going to need it fairly often So 
So we'll get this filled up and try and think where we can actually fill it from. I did put the the wind turbine in. It does say it's a wind water pump, but I don't know if we can get water from it. Or whether it is just a generator. Don't know if there's a trigger on that one. I know there is one you can get where it's got the... Uh, me just... Yeah, I don't think there's any water trigger on that one. There is one where you can put down where it is an actual water pump and you can draw water from it. It's obviously not that one. Uh, now I've put the fence there. <laughs> we can't actually get to the water around there. I'm going to have to have a look because I don't think I've got any water trigger other than the base game one which charges you. So see if we can just back this in down here to get a little bit of water to get the sheep going without getting stuck. And I'll have to have a look see then about putting a uh, water fill point in. I don't know if I've got one. No, stop. <laughs> Come on, don't get stuck. There we go. Should hopefully be able to get out there. There we go. 6,000 litres will be enough to get them going. So we have got this little bit of space here. I may just replant some trees in this bit. Because I don't know how usable that's going to be for anything else. It does start getting a little bit steep going up there. So I so say yeah, we'll probably continue the fencing round as well and then we can use this little bit of area to get the chicken coop once we've got the barley harvested which will be something we'll be doing probably in July. So we'll give this one 50% and then 50% for the others. And that's the sheep all sorted so they'll start producing more when their health gets up. And that's another job done for the farm and a little bit more expansion. So we've now got some sheep. Uh, we could potentially in the future, if we're not producing enough wool, we do have this bit of grass on the left hand side where we could potentially get another pasture. So we could take it up to 150. Uh, but that'll be something we'll just judge as and when we get the other productions in. Let's get me turn those back off again. And. I think that'll do us for today. So we've got some more wood down into the old sawmill, top that up so that should keep it going for a couple of months. Uh, we've got some hay bales made, so we've got some hay for our sheep and we've bought some sheep, two pastures. So currently 50 sheep. So we can start our wool production which will benef benefit us further down the line when we can get the spinnery and start producing the fabric we require for the boat builder. So yeah, we'll call it quits there for today so i hope you've enjoyed this episode if you have then please don't forget to give it a like i really do appreciate it if you're not yet subscribed to the channel then please do consider subscribing We've got more farm simulator 22 content coming with this series the time lapse series on mesovia currently and also we do live streams once a week uh, which is also on this map at the moment so yeah come along watch one of the live streams say hello now, it's a different save game to this so we've uh Doing things a little bit differently, probably mostly concentrating on getting the roller coaster built and doing the other productions. So come and watch along if you've not yet. Uh, it'd be good to see you there. And again, a big thank you to my channel members as well for your extra support. I really do appreciate that as well. And uh, past and present as well. So if you've been a channel member in the past, I really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, thank you for extra support. And a big thank you to everyone that's watched today. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you again. Goodbye.